Hi everyone, this is Bharti. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be doing a short prenatal yoga practice for third trimester to prepare for labor and birth. We'll be practicing asanas that will help in getting the baby into the right position for birth as well as work on our pelvic opening and mobility. You will be needing just a couple of yoga blocks for this practice or a couple of thick books. Once you are ready, let's gently hop onto the mat and get going. Let us start by coming into an easy cross-legged sitting position. You can sit on a yoga block or a cushion. Ground your sit bones into the cushion. Lengthen your spine. Roll the shoulders back. Gently tuck in your chin so that your neck, spine and hips are in one straight line. Bring the hands and chin mudra on the knees and gently close your eyes. Let's begin the practice by gently bringing our attention to our breath. Observe the natural rhythm of your breath as you inhale and exhale. With the next inhalation, take a deep breath in, filling your lungs with oxygen. And as you exhale out, release any tension, stress or fear that you might be holding on to. Again, inhale deeply, feeling the belly expand out. And exhale slowly, the belly comes in. We'll now go through some affirmations. I'm using this moment to breathe in peace and exhale tension. I love and respect my pregnant body. I breathe deeply and comfortably so my baby and I can be relaxed. I trust that my body is perfectly designed to nourish and birth my baby. I'm grateful for this important role as an expectant mother. Again, take a long breath in and a long exhale out. We'll start the practice with an Om chant. Take a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. gently open your eyes and let's begin the practice let's bring both the hands behind our head interlacing the fingers supporting the neck with the thumbs as you inhale extend the spine and look up exhale curl the spine bringing chin to chest again inhale up exhale down inhale up Exhale down, three more times. Inhale up, exhale down, creating space between each vertebrae. Last time. And come back to center. Let's come into a tabletop position now. So let's come into a tabletop position with hands under the shoulders, knees below the hips, knees are hip distance apart. Spread the fingers wide, distributing the weight equally on all the four corners of the palms. We are going to do a twist for the upper back. So as you inhale, extend the left arm up, looking up towards the left thumb. Exhale, needle it under the right arm and take it to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, needle it under. 
Inhale up. Exhale twist two more times. Last time. And come back to center and let's do it for the other side. Inhale, extend the right arm up. Exhale, needle it under. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time. And come back to center. Again, come back into your tabletop position and let's do some hip rotations. So let's just start rotating the hips in clockwise direction, making nice big circles for five, four, three, two, and one and we'll reverse four three two and one and come back to center from here we'll get into some fire hydrants we are going to lift our knees sideways and bring it in line with the hips. Let's start with the left side. Before doing this, let's just check our posture. So pull your navel in so that your back is completely straight. You can look at a point diagonally in front of you. And let's start. Inhale, take the left knee sideways. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time. And let's do it for the other side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going last time and come back to center we'll do another movement for hip mobility so again we'll take the knee sideways we'll rotate it towards the back and bring it down so let's start take it to the side take it back and down inhale up and back exhale down inhale up exhale down keep going on four more times four three two and one and relax and let's do it for the other side inhale up and back exhale down inhale up exhale down four three two and one and relax Let's push the hips back and you can come in half child's pose. Just breathing into the lower back. You can bring your elbows on the mat. Make sure there's enough gap between the knees. And let's just take a few breaths here. Come up, bring the hands in front. Let's just rotate the wrists a few times in outward direction. And a few times in inward direction. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, extend both the arms up, stretching up. And slowly bring them down. And let's come back to tabletop position. And we'll get into some low lunges. So you will need your yoga blocks for this one 
Let's place the yoga blocks on either sides of the mat, halfway between our tabletop position. Step the right foot forward on the outside of the right hand to come into a low lunge position. And from here, let's start pushing the hips gently forward to come into a low lunge. You should be feeling a stretch in front of the left thigh. Let's stay here for three, two, one. Exhale, walk the hands back, bring them to your blocks and straighten the right foot. Getting a nice stretch in the back of the right leg. And let's stay for three, two, one. Again, push the hips forward, bring the hands forward to come into low lunge. Exhale, push the hips back and come into half split. Try to keep your spine long, getting a nice stretch in the back of the right leg. Last time, push the hips forward, bring the hands down and let's step the right foot back. Let's do it for the other side. Step the left foot forward. Inhale. Push the hips forward to come into low lunge. Stay for three, two, one. Bring the hands to the yoga block, straightening that left leg. Stay for three, two, one. Again, come forward. Push the hips back, coming to half split. Breathing into the stretch in the back of the left leg. Last time, push the hips forward and step the left foot back. And let's come into Vajrasana and we'll get up to come into a standing position now. So we'll start with some pelvic tilts. We'll need a wall for this. Let's come close to a wall. Getting our upper back and hips onto the wall. Pelvic tilts are great for preventing back pain as well as getting the baby into the right position. So we are going to inhale, expand the belly. And as you exhale, pull the navel in and close the gap between the lower back and the wall. So let's do this. Inhale, expanding the belly. Exhale, pull the navel in, closing the gap between the lower back and the wall. We'll do five of these. Try to keep your entire back on the wall. Last one. And gently release. And let's come back to the mat. So let us come into a wide-legged stance. Adjust the feet so that the right foot points to the right. Left foot is pointing forward to prepare for warrior two. Bring the arms to shoulder level. Inhale, bend the right knee to come into warrior two and stay for three, two, one. Exhale, come up again. Inhale, bend the right knee to come to warrior two. Make sure your right knee is tagged over the right ankle. Navel is pulled in. Torso is at the center and stay for three, two, one, exhale, come up, last time, 
inhale come to warrior 2 stay for 3 2 1 start moving forward bringing the right elbow to the right thigh and extend the left arm diagonally to come into side angle pose keep pushing the left hip slightly down and let's stay here for three two one slowly bring the left hand down and come up let's repeat it on the other side adjust the feet so that left foot is pointing to the left right foot is pointing forward bring the arms to shoulder level inhale come to warrior two stay for three two one exhale up inhale down stay for three two one exhale up last time three two one start moving towards the left side bringing left elbow to the left thigh extend the right arm diagonally to come into side angle pose keep opening the chest to the ceiling and stay for three two one slowly bring the hands down and come up and heel toe your feet in from here we are going to get into goddess pose let's bring the feet at 45 degrees pointing outwards bring the hands to the hips extend both the arms up inhale push the hips down to come into goddess pose make sure knees are stacked over the ankles body is centered exhale come up inhale down exhale up inhale down exhale up two more times and let's stay for five deep breaths and come up bring the hands down and let's come back to a standing position now we'll get down on the mat for malasana or the full squat you'll need your yoga blocks for this you can place two yoga blocks on your mat or you can even place them close to a wall for support come on top of the yoga blocks take a deep breath in as you exhale push the hips all the way down and come to sit in malasana you can bring both hands to heart center and let's just stay here for a few deep breaths Bring your attention to your pelvic floor muscles, relaxing the pelvic floor muscles outwards and downwards with each inhalation and lifting them back up with each exhalation. Try to keep the spine long. Let's take one last deep breath in 
hand out and get out of the pose from here let's come down to one yoga block and sit on one yoga block bringing the soles of the feet together to come into butterfly pose grab both the feet with the hands and we'll do some butterfly pulses from here so take a deep breath in extending the spine exhale start flapping the knees up and down for five four three two and one push both the knees down and let's fold forward slightly bringing the hands on the floor and stay for five four three two one and come back let's bring the feet in an easy cross-legged sitting position and we'll end with some deep abdominal breathing with some kegel exercises to relax the pelvic floor muscles so again ground your sit bones into your cushion or yoga block lengthen the spine roll the shoulders back bring both hands to your belly and let's take a deep breath in feeling the expansion in the belly exhale pull the navel in close to the spine again inhale deeply expanding the belly exhale slowly the belly comes in with the next inhalation bring your attention to your pelvic floor muscles feeling the pelvic floor muscles also expanding downwards towards the cushion or the yoga blocks with every inhale and as you exhale pull the pelvic floor muscles up towards the navel as the belly goes in inhale expanding the belly and the pelvic floor muscles downwards exhale pull the pelvic floor muscles up and the belly in keep going on inhale expand and relax exhale lift the pelvic floor muscles towards the navel inhale expand exhale lift and pull everything in last one inhale deeply exhale slowly and relax bring the hands down and we'll end the practice with an om chant take a deep breath in Shanti, Shanti, bring the hands to heart center and let's start dropping the palms to create heat in the palms. Gently bring the palms over the eyelids, feeling the healing heat of the palms through the eyelids. Slowly bring the hands down and open your eyes. Hope you enjoyed this practice and it will help you to prepare for your labor and birth experience. 
I'll see you with a new video soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.